Hi, uh, welcome to the Pan Hook and Needles podcast. I actually had to look down to see what the name of our podcast was this week. Um, <coughs> sorry, I am, um, and I got about three hours of sleep, so I'm a little tired. I am, don't have any Mountain Dew, so I'm going to try crush to sugar myself into wakefulness. Um, today is, uh, not Sunday, Monday, Monday uh, November 19th, um, 2012, and my name is Talia also known as Franciscan Gypsy on Ravelry, Plurk, and just about everywhere else. I'm Marlacia. I am known as Lady Fornico on Ravelry and on Plurk, but on my writer's site, I am Shadowlight or Shadowlight One. Sorry, I'm trying to find my tissues. Um, I, I don't have a cold or anything. It's just, I think, not enough sleep. Anyway, um... As you all know, if you're in America, uh, this is the Monday before Thanksgiving, so hopefully we can keep things a little on the shorter end. We have a lot of cooking to do. And cleaning. And cleaning, yeah. So, yeah, um, let's just jump right into it then. Um, oh, if you are a returning member, welcome. We are happy to have you. And if you are... A a new member, uh, thank you for giving us a chance and watching us. Um, We'll just welcome the new members by name at the end of the podcast. Um, So now we'll just go into the knitting. There we go. There. Okay. I'm going to put this down a second. So the first uh, project I want to talk about is not over here. Could you grab my purse? It's in there. Oh, never mind. I lied. I have it. Um, it's my Simple Spidey socks, which are the Simple Skip socks by Adrian Koo for me. You introduced yourself, right? Yes. I'm sorry. My memory goes after no, not too much sleep. Off of my list. You have not seen me at the... My phone is leaping. I'll take a look at that later. Anyway, um, at the end of my shift... I can't make complete sentences. I all of us start stumbling over words. Tenses go out the window. It's really kind of funny. Um, but yeah, you should see me at the end of my shift. I kept having to go back to work because I first I left my coat, then I left some papers, then I left my lunch bag, and just I went up and down like a couple times before I finally got everything I needed. Um, anyway, this is my work mini. It's the Simple Skip Socks by Adrian Koo. I'm working them for me using US2 uh, DPNs. I'm using Desert Vista Dye Works yarn, and I could have been a superhero colorway. I love these socks. These are very nice uh, work knitting. I'll probably always have some form of these socks on my needles just to throw in my purse. As you remember from last week, if you were here with us, I have a hoe, half object, and this has sparkles. And it fits. I've tried it on. People at work were not convinced that it would fit until I tried it on. So it fits well. I'm happy with it. That's number one. And number two... I'm actually like halfway through the leg of the sock because I got renewed energy. Plus, it's become my work knitting. So, let's see. Yeah, there's supposed to be 24 rows for the uh, for the leg, and I'm on row oh 24 repeats for the leg, and I'm on uh, repeat 14. So, I am well on my way to getting this. Completed. Get in there. There you go. So now, so you can actually see it. It doesn't need to turn out. Yes, it is. It's blue and red tongue. So there you go. I think it's I've made a fair amount of progress. 
It's fun to work on the quick uh, knit. I love it. There's my little ducky stitch marker. He's super cute. So I'm happy with these socks. I'll probably be working these socks a lot and just changing out yarns because it is a such a simple, simple pattern. And I like the fact some socks will just be like, oh, these are the number of stitches you do. Just you know, uh, work a certain number of stitches and it'll fit a certain kind of foot. This pattern says, okay, if your circumference of your foot is blank, work so many stitches. And I like it that better that way because then I know my sock will fit because it matches my measurements. <clears throat> so let me stuff this back in here. Where did you go, Saki? Behind you. Okay. I still have plenty of yarn left, which is good, because I am not done with the second sock yet. Because I can't remember how much is in this yarn ball. It'll be enough. But it moved into the Batman bag because this is my work knitting bag. It clips nicely to the phone. I hang it my um, off my pockets. Just hangs right there and. I'm able to go along and do my thing. It, it's not on the floor where it gets in the way when I'm watching the heart monitor. Um, so yeah, that's that project. Sorry. Uh, some more crush. The other project I'm work, been working on a lot, I'm taking the crafty class for um, knitting gloves. Never have really done the craft any the crafty class all the way through. It's done by Marley Bird, and I really like her teaching uh, pa pattern, no, teaching method. Um, and I decided to do her first knitting. Well, I'm calling it my first knitting glove. It's her five in one adventure pattern. Um, and I decided to do the uh, fingerless gloves with the convertible uh, flap. Flap. Um, and I'm working that on US 7 DPNs. And I forget what I had to use the US 8 for. Oh, I had to use the US 8 to pick up stitches in the back. Or to hold stitches in the back where I would eventually be picking up stitches to uh, do my flap. Um, I'm using some yarn that I bought a while back. I was, I had just started uh, knitting. And I picked up a. Uh, Yarn deal from Yarns of Italy, um, and it, in the, that yarn deal they had the deep blue, in a, I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right, in a Morata, in a Morata DK, and I really liked it, so I picked up another skein of that dark blue, and then a skein, I'm sorry, <clears throat> it's actually called deep blue, uh, and a skein of the light blue, uh, or two skeins of light blue for another pair of gloves in the Vogue Knitting magazine. I wasn't ready for DPN set points, and I've come to realize I really don't like Vogue Knitting's patterns. I love their articles, but their patterns kind of suck. <laughs> They're ugly. I mean, in my opinion, someone might find them, obviously someone finds them really pretty since they're still in business, but I think they're rather ugly patterns for the most part. Um, I guess too modern for my taste. Anyway, um... I still had the yarn, and I went stash diving when I um, started this pattern, and I used those. So, first knitted gloves. I'm actually a good stopping point. Let me. I finished the, I was talk, Skyping with a friend in Ohio who I went to nursing school with. We had a five hour long conversation, something like that. I haven't talked to her in a while. Um, and... I ended up adding the thumb. By the way, probably not the most brilliant thing in the world to add a thumb and be measuring a thumb while you're talking to someone. Uh, I kept messing up and having to fix it again. So the fingerless glove part is done for the left hand, and I'm now working on the convertible back. I'm just going to put that on. I haven't wo woven in all, any of my ends yet, so it's going to look a little bunchy when I stick my hand in here. But... Not too bad. 
I like the way, where the cuff comes down, and thumb down. I made the thumb a little longer than they told me to. I must have like super long thumbs, because when I did it the length they told me to, I got this nasty hole where my thumb joined, and that's basically. I mean, it's still kind of there, but it's basically gone, um, and only I notice it, really. Um, and then this here, pull this over. I am not overly, overly far on the um, flip over, but I can see how that would stay. I think that the is ribbing here, so it'll stick to the other ribbing. So I think it's going to be really nice when it's done. So I'm very happy with that. Um, I can't wait to get this uh, off needles and start the other one because it's starting to get a little chilly over here and I'd love to be wearing gloves that I made. Because the first pair of gloves I crocheted, they're nice, but they don't really fit and I don't like the feel of crochet on my fingertips. The knitting is a lot smoother. Um, so, I'm looking forward to that. Next project um, is the Ladybird Blanket. And you're going to notice that there's a little bit of a change in format. I asked last week if you guys really cared about what stitch is working. And uh, I forget who answered that. Snooks? Snooks. I think it was Snooks. Mm -hmm. um, my memory isn't very good. She's really good about answering questions. Yes, she is. And she's like, well, you know, we can always look it up. And it's kind of the way I fail. And I take so long anyway <laughs> that <clears throat> me automatically in a very monotone voice going through stitches isn't very useful for you. So, you're just going to get to see them, and if I think there's anything unusual about it, I'll mention it. Like, this you pick up stitches in the back. That's necessary, you know. And you pick up stitches for the thumb. <coughs> Sorry. But other than that, I mean, this is pretty simple. She called it intermediate. I, I'm not sure if it's intermediate, like if you did the fingers, because you mark the whole pattern as intermediate, and there's five different ways you can make the gloves. So it's probably that way, it would be intermediate. I guess the pick up stitches is fairly advanced stitch. But yeah, that's that. I'm going to put this down. Stay. Alright, the next pattern or project I've been working on is the Ladybird Blanket. It is in my. I almost said no makers, but it's not. Um, it's in my name's my bag, British bag. Um, and it, this is a hoodie bird blanket by Stacy Truck. It is in this book made of awesomeness um, called Cuddly Crochet. And let me put this down a sec. That is a cute little blanket. I am making it for my friends uh, who I know don't watch this. Josh and Mel. Uh, Mel was my college roommate for three years, and she roomed with me a little bit before she got married to Josh. And Josh, I knew for the full four years of college. I don't know how we went through college without me killing him, but <laughs> uh, I when I found out they were. Due to have a baby on May 25th, um, of course I had to make them something for the baby. Even though I hate making blankets. Josh and Mel, I obviously love you guys a lot if I'm making you a blasted blanket. She wouldn't even make me a blanket. I hate blankets. Hate them. Fiber of my bean. How many fiber of your bean? I'm using USH hook uh, with Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Uh, I'm using a Koe Orchid, and then I'm using yellow for the beak and the feet, and then the black and white for the eyes. I'm nowhere near the yellow or the black and white. I have made some progress then. It's getting big. Not big enough. <laughs> it's a doll blanket. Yeah, right now it's kind of a doll blanket. So Very small doll. It's 
about the size of, my mom has a, uh, a granny square blanket that's hanging on a rocking chair. It's about the size of one of those granny squares. So, I mean, it's, it's grown. At least with this, I can see some sort of progress. I think what I generally hate about blankets is I don't see any progress. And I'm sorry for you blanket lovers out there, or those who, of you who love making blankets. Making blankets are it's boring. <laughs> so boring. Not if you get the right pattern. I'd make a sweater any day over a blanket. Yeah. I love sweaters. I'm not currently working on any of my sweaters, but I do love sweaters. I mean, I've finished, I think I've finished five sweaters this year. Because I finished my work sweater. I finished that short sleeved one that's ugly. Um, I finished Grandma and Grandpa's. That's four. Okay, I only finished four sweaters. My sweater. Oh, and I finished my sweater. Your sweater I finished la the year before. It was the same time you finished the year before. Was that the year before? I don't know. I think it was last year. I don't know. So I, I finished five sweaters. I really think I finished yours in Divine last year. Well, it's on the Ravelry page. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I mean, I did finish five sweaters this year. I mean, I love, I love sweaters. And I have two others on the needles. I'm just not getting too much love right now. Um, and this is one of the reasons. The bag is one of the reasons? My blankie. It's not for you, that's it. Blankie. Anyway. <coughs> that's that project. Um, the mystery cow for Stacy Trough. It's the Archer Mystery Cow. Um, I'm doing it twice. And if you have not yet uh, finished Clue 1, look away. Um, I have not completely finished Clue 1. Let me put it this way. If you have not finished Clue 1, Part a, B. A and B. A, B, and actually C, because I'm most of the way through C. Mm -hmm. If you have not finished Clue 1, look away. <laughs> There's only one clue. Yeah, well, if you haven't finished it, look away. <laughs> um, Are you quite sure you know what you're talking about? Yes. If they've finished Clue 1, they can look. If they have not finished Clue then 1... why are you making it so difficult? Um, I'm using U.S. H-Hook. H-Hook? You know, I'm going to bet you're running the podcast. I don't feel good. Anyway, um, I'm work working it twice. The first one I'm calling Hawkeye because, well, Hawkeye from Avengers is an archer. He's awesome. Yes, he is. Um, no matter what the critics say, they didn't criticize him; they criticized his actor. Uh, <laughs> anyway. USH hook. I'm using Red Heart Super Savers multi slash ombre yarn in the colorways Chili and Grape Fizz. I don't know what this is yet. I haven't figured it out. Uh, we'll have to see. We couldn't tell you even if we had. Yeah. So here is. Remember, look away. If you haven't done the clue and you are doing the Stacy Truck uh, Archer Mystery Cow, unless you want to. Stars, etc. Look away. Well, maybe she finished it. I'm not sure if she has. As far as cetera, if you have not finished it, look away. <laughs> um, although, I worked the past two nights, so she might have gotten a jump on me. Um, I would have finished it if I hadn't worked the past two nights. Um, so, here's the first part of... Um, excuse me. Uh, this is the first part of Clue 1 in that color. For the red. That's the chili. I have no idea what that is. It's a ball. Obviously. And if you, you know, if people were trying not to look, you just completely ruined it for them. No, that's okay. <laughs> They're not some balls. Big balls, little balls. Balls that fun on rocks. Okay, that's B. What did I do? I'm still working on C. If you read the pattern, you already know C is in the second color. 
pretty. You have to grate his. I like grate his. We'll see how this works together. I have no idea how this goes together, uh -huh. but I mean the colors. <laughs> That's really mm. obnoxious. Yeah. yeah, it is. That's okay, because my other one's not quite as obnoxious. I decided to work this twice, once in fingering and once in worsted. I knew my worsted one was going to be really obnoxious. So I grabbed my Gnome, Gnome Acre Skinny Dippers, slapped them into my kitties at the movie theater. Where's the knitting kitty in the movie theater? There's a little kitty hiding behind her knitting. I hope they're still not looking. Well, yeah, don't look still, because we're still talking about the uh, Archer Mystery Cap. I'm, the second one, probably I'm calling a Kobe, because I have a character who's an Archer called a Kobe. And these are totally his colors. Um, using a USC hook. Uh, using a No Maker Skinny Dippers. That's B. There's A. Ah. I'll put that up in a little bit. So. As you can see, it is much, much smaller than that. <laughs> the big yellow one. This is fun. <laughs> well, Mom, you knocked me over. Good. Okay, there we go. It's nice and squishy. Jonah's just been flying. You don't need to show them anyway. You never stick to them. Um, let's go with my shoes. There we go. So, that is that one. Here's B. It's amazing how much smaller. And that's a really pretty gray, as you can see. Oh, where's my light blue? My secondary color is the light blue, and I know I have it in here somewhere. Well, it might be important for me to find that. This is definitely like another one. I don't want to. I made this one. I probably stuck it in the wrong bag. Well, let me, let's see. Ah! Nope. <laughs> well, if you can't find them, just show them the yarn. I don't want to go. I'll show it to Oh, doink. It might have a look in the right bag. Whoa. That was my sweater. That's a really creepy sound. <laughs> that was my sweater bag. Yeah. I my sweater bag. That was my um glove bag. And I was looking there for like ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes, huh? Felt like ten minutes. Here's the beginning of Clusy in the light blue. That's gonna be really pretty with this. That makes up for like the obnoxiousness in my other one. It's even more obnoxious in my Melvin. Mm. I don't know. Your Melvin's pretty obnoxious. Well, my and Melvin at least goes together. <laughs> well, it was supposed to be fun. Yeah, something. All right, you can look back here. Um, yeah. Because I'm hiding the clues again. Just keep that space uh, that you're hiding in available because I will be showing mine afterward. And that's all for me. Wow. Hold on, let me just cap this. Okay, I have been pretty monogamous. I was working on my mystery gift, which I finished, and I'm not going to show anybody because it's a mystery gift. So, oh, it Mom, is. Quick interruption. Did you know that there was a uh, off the mix? Off the mix. <laughs> off the hooks, off the needles, cow by. Uh, January 1st going on. Yeah, I did. I still remember what group it's in. It's in um, Knitting in Circles. It's, uh, it's a husband-wife team. Well, I'll have to see. I have so many groups, I don't even know half of them. Um, that would be nice. To I know. haven't watched them in a while. I'm going to have to watch them again. Even um, though I'm not going to be able to complete that challenge. <laughs> I did. I'm not either. I did um, do some work on, on this, uh, my go-to knitting. I didn't do a whole lot, so I'm not really going to show it to you up close. This is my Nicole, you know, the, what's it called, the Half Log Cabin Ombre Blanket by Pearl Soho. And it's just, it's it's coming along. You're seeing the back of it, so you have that ugly little ridge I don't like, which I'm going to have to do something about covering. But it has grown, you know, a few rows. Um, 
I didn't work on it as much as I'd like because I was working on the um, the little gift that nobody gets to see. Um, aside from that, I've been working on um, the mystery cow. Oh, well, I'm, I'll show you that in a second. First, I'll show you the. I've been work, working on some dishcloths. Um, because I needed something small enough to carry with me when I go to CCD and we go to the Daily Grind or whatever. I didn't want to take my knitting, which is huge. I didn't want to take anything that required a lot of uh, thought because we get interrupted, we talk, we ha you know, there's just a lot going on, and I didn't want to mess up what already needs concentration, you know, lace knitting or or patterns like on my shawl or whatever. I didn't want to risk also spilling anything on my shawl. So um, this is a a smaller project and it's also a project that I'm, if, I, if something happens to it and I have to start all over again it's not going to you know be any major deal. Um, I've already finished it's called the um, Sandy Shore Dish Cloth, Dish Cloth Set. Okay, <laughs> try saying that one three times fast. The Sandy Shore Dish Cloth Set um, which is a free pattern by Lion Brand and it's a set of four crochet dishcloths. I finished one <coughs> pattern, which I'll show you in the finished objects. This is the second one. Um, I'm working in the back loops for this. And I'm using dishy cotton yarn. I don't know if you can see it. You can't see the pattern, really. There there you can. Go. There's a little ridge in there. So um, this is the second one that I'm doing. And I, I had made a dishcloth as a test pattern for Anastasia Knits that I really liked um, for cleaning off my stove top and things, my glass stove top. So I thought I'd like to have a bigger one. That one was a little bit small. <coughs> and so and I wanted something really quick and that I didn't have to really pay too much attention. So I, I'm doing this pattern. It's a fairly easy pattern. It is a free pattern. I use a, um, a G hook for this. And I think any cotton yarn will be fine. And uh, the stitches are fairly simple, so it should be a good project for people who are just beginning to learn to crochet, even. And, and it's got enough interest for those who already know. Are you finished? <laughs> I reached the length I needed to. I reached the length I needed to. Anyway, now, scarves, etc., and anyone else who is doing a face of chalk. Craft along. You might want to go back to your hiding place at this protest particular time particular? Particular? <laughs> because I'm going to show you my progress on this cow. So are you turned away? Turn, turn, turn away. Okay. okay. They're gone. They're gone. I hope they're gone. Okay, this is my bigger one. This isn't the great fizz that Talia was using for her uh, accent. That's my major color. I think yours is a little bigger than mine. It might be. I think I crochet a little looser than you. I think you do. Close, but I, it is bigger though. I think. Yeah, it is a little bigger. I think you must crochet a little looser. Than I think a little looser than you do. Well, I have a little trouble with my hands gripping sometimes. So, so this is the part. This is part A, and I don't know what it is, but I love the color. Um, it's very soft. So that's part A, and excuse me while I go looking in my. Parisian knitting my bag bag. Parisian ladies. Um, this is my. Let's see. No, that's not it. Yes, it is. Is it or is it not? This is it. This is my part B. I have no idea what this is. Um, I haven't figured out what it is yet. And my part C is in the contrasting color. I'm still working on part C in this because I've had interruptions and such. This is my part C in my fuchsia, neon pink. And this is, I love this yarn as opposed to the fizz in the red heart. You can see that it's a very bright pink. And not quite as obnoxious as Taya's maybe, but <laughs> obnoxious enough. It, it's this fun. Different than mine. Well, I'm not finished with it yet. But it looks like it's more tubular. I don't know. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. I may find that I was not paying attention. I'll have to tear it back or something. But we'll see. All 
my, that's, that's the big one. I'm also doing a sock, a sock yarn size. And this is, I decided that I'm going to have to focus on one size at a time. I'm going to focus on the big one and then do the small one because with the sock yarn, it requires a C-hook. And, that, and the yarn is very thin, and my hands don't gra grasp it very well, so I'm continually going back and doing things over, which, again, won't be so good for my hands. And so um, I'll, finish, I'll finish the larger ones, and then I go back and do the smaller ones. But before I figure that out, I did finish part A. And this is a no maker's yarn, the skinny dippers. And this <coughs> is part A. And I, <laughs> I was trying to tell you, I think... I started this in the, in the C hook and then I lost the hook maybe and, and did a little in the D hook and then went back to the C hook. <laughs> so it's a little bit maybe not quite the size it would normally be. It's really soft. It's got nice small uh, stitches so that you can't really see the yarn, the um, the, yarn. the stuffing. Um, I do not have part B started yet, but I do want to show you what the contrast in color will be. It will be this. It's also no maker a skinny dipper. Oops. I'm all over the place. I'm caught. Okay, there it is. You're caught. Um, oh my. This is a color combination. Kind of a yellow and a green. So that's, whoops. A mess. A mess, yes. So I've gotten to, I finished part A for the sock yarn. I finished A, B, and I'm working on C for B main big yarn, the uh, Red Heart and Fizz. And that's as far as I've gotten on that. And I guess that is all I'm doing right now on the, on the needles and hooks. Which brings me to FOs. And I finished Ladybird for Josh and Mel's baby. So there are crocheted on eyes. He is made by Stacy Traw. Well, not made by, he's designed by Stacy Trock. I mean him. <laughs> um, or her, rather. She's a ladybird. Uh, it's Annie the Adorable Bluebird. Uh, she's that's the pattern name. Yes, obviously she's not blue. Mel likes purple, and Josh bought a lavender hoodie in college that I couldn't talk him out of. So, their baby's toy need to be lavender. Um, and they don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. Well, yeah, exactly. Um, I use a USH hook. And Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn with orchid is the main color, and then yellow is the beak, and I uh, crocheted on black eyes. So, I mean, she's not very big. She's just a little tyke. Yep. Perfect for a baby. Perfect for a baby. Can't wait to give her away. Oh, there's also, um, remember the stuff I used for the purple people here? I used it for the bottom of her wings, because... I really don't like this color. <laughs> I don't like light purple. I'm not a light colors person. And I want something more interesting. So I added something I liked better on the bottom of the wings. Did you put it on the top? I wanted to. Why didn't you? Because everyone was saying it'd be too bright for a baby. So no, they... I mean, just the wings. Just the wings oh, color. no, no, no. That'd be weird looking. No, it wouldn't. It'd be cute. So. Okay. Your turn. My finished object is not quite so cute. Not nearly as cute. <laughs> but it is finished. This is the, the one dishcloth I was able to finish. I haven't yet woven in the end. But you can tell it's a different pattern. This is more of a shell pattern or something. I'm not sure exactly what kind of a pattern it is. It has, uh, it skips a stitch and then it has a um, single crochet and a double crochet in the same stitch. Is that a free pattern? Hmm? Is that a free pattern? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Yes. Just want to make sure. <sighs> she doesn't think I have any brains whatsoever. You said you were uncomfortable with Yes, I know. To remind you. This was supposed to be 10 inches by 10 inches. It came out more like 9 by 9. Um, so I didn't want to keep going for that 10th inch and have it be elongated. I just decided to stop at the square. I really like it. It's very dense. Um, 
thick. It's very thick. And this is a, a gray. It's a dishy yarn. It's, it's a gray that I had left over from the Batman that I did for my husband. All, this, <laughs> all the dishy yarn I'm using is from, left over from my husband's Batman. Um, and I just thought that I wanted to have I, all my dishcloths and my washcloths and things like that are just in pretty bad shape. So I thought I'll practice on these and then if I get some cotton yarn for either Christmas or my birthday, I will make some prettier ones. Excuse my watch, it's 3 o'clock. There we go, if you're on the East Coast. And that is my finished object. Did you finish your secret for your finished object? Yes, I did, but I'm not going to show it to you. <laughs> because, who knows? You know? Yeah, exactly. Um, next on the needles. Eventually I'll start the Southerton with that pretty black yarn with the uh, red sparkles that I got at the craft fair. But I'm not ready to cast on another sweater yet. Um, I want to make Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. I mean, I mean, or me, whatever. And I'll probably start another pair of Simple Skip socks when this pair is done. <clears throat> I mean, I don't foresee it being too much longer for that pair of socks. Anytime I have a break at work, I pick up the knitting, <coughs> and it goes by pretty fast. It's a lot more interesting than working on the Nightwing shawl at work. Poor Nightwing shawl. I know. I'm going to have to finish him eventually, but it's just, it's so boring. <laughs> wow. And I need something a little more riveting, and socks are a little more riveting. It's instant gratification, too. I can see it forming. I don't get that much gratification with the Nightwing Shawl. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I'll i probably do a lot of the simple skip socks just with different colors, just because it is an easy pattern for me to throw down if someone needs me or a call button goes off. And that's my next one, Niels. I'm not going to bore you with the <coughs> same stuff that I said I was going to put on the hooks and needles. You know what it is if you've been here for long enough. And for those of you who are new, you'll probably hear from me about the same things over and over again. So I'm going to give you a break on the old stuff. Um, I would like to start the Hitchhiker um, for my mom. I've got this beautiful skinny dipper that Amanda sent to me. When I, I actually picked that one up on a, as a scene. Usually her skinny dippers that I buy are um, surprises. This one was actually posted that you could see it and it's got a beautiful green variegation. My mom loves green and I think either the hitchhiker or um, I forget what the other shawl was, but the crochet shawl I think, kind of a shawlette in that colorway would be really pretty for my mom. So that's something I was thinking about doing. Um, I do want to make the Teenage Mutant Ninja toy uh, toys and um, there are the other things basically you know I, I just kind of do what I do when I do it I don't really I say one thing and then I do something else so exactly. there's not really much huh exactly yeah there's not much really much point in me getting too in depth with what I feel like doing especially with Christmas and, and Thanksgiving and all the holidays I'll just cast on what I or hook up whatever it is I do and I'll tell you about it after the fact we'll see us <laughs> Oh, I forgot to tell you the names of my um, of my mystery cows. The bigger one is Princess Maribah, after the heroine of Brave. Brave? Brave, yes. And the other one is Artemis. Um, and I'm under the impression that there are two. <sighs> two uh, archers named Artemis, one who is a superhero and one who is from mythology. So, regardless... Artemis is the smaller one. Okay, that's it. Fia, are you not getting enough attention? No, he's not. And he thinks that he's a small enough bird to sit on your shoulder. I and mean, he thinks he's the smallest ladybird, I think. Yes. Fia has issues, but that's something you may hear about some other time. Um, obsessions. The toy along is still going along. Going along. <laughs> going along. <laughs> toy along. Um, it's. We had extended it from December 15th to December 24th, just so people who are working on the Mystery Cal for Stacy Trock get a chance to get in. Right. Um, the more the merrier. Exactly. And also, if people are working on Christmas presents, that gives mm -hmm. them a little bit of a longer time. And we'll just do the drawing after Christmas. 
be kind of an after Christmas gift. Exactly. Um, knit or crochet toys are very welcome. And I think we have 13 entries right now. I don't know. Something I like know that. we have a lot. We <coughs> just had a little influx. Well, when I went in and invited people, I actually went to Caffeinated Gert's uh, site. I was like, you finished that bunny. Put it in for a prize, possibly. I told her I'm clerk to do that. I know. I went and voted her on her uh, podcast group, and she did. Good. Yeah, I saw that on there. She uh, was so proud of it. She should be proud of it. I know. It's pretty. It's pretty. I don't know why we had to push her so much. I don't know. But it's We give good. her a hug. Yes. Um, I don't know if she watches. Cyber hug. Um, I know she's a member of the group. I don't know if she keeps up with it. I'm sure she has a lot of podcasts she has to keep up. Yeah, well, keep they up all with. do. Yeah. Um, so one picture per entry, but you can enter as many times as you want. Um, we should say one, um, posting per ent entry because sometimes people put oh yeah one posting. two views yeah one posting per entry. You can have like two views like front and back front and back on the same post. Um. I have it. I don't care how many you have in the same post, it still counts for one. <laughs> you could have like 20. Well, that's but that's a bit extreme. It's a little excessive. I mean, I don't know how many views <laughs> you can actually do. Um, <clears throat> but there's a chatter thread and pictures only thread. Um, the chatter thread is very active for the most part. I do apologize to people who have have responded to my posts and I haven't yet responded to them. She just hates you. I've been really busy. And when I'm not busy, I'm really tired. <laughs> so I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. I'm really bad about things like that. I will be better. That's my New Year's resolution. Revolution before <laughs> New Year's. It's her fault. That her over there. Yeah. No, don't blame Lady Bird. No, I'm not she blaming. She didn't Lady do Bird. anything. Lady Bird was not there. You shouldn't blame Lady Bird for things. Poor Lady Bird. It's okay, Lady Bird. My daughter's broken. It's okay. <sighs> she didn't mean it. <laughs> My daughter has issues. Lady Bird doesn't go over there, Mom. For now, she does. She's playing with Sia. That's a bad thing. She might pick up bad habits. Here, Lady Bird, you play with purple people, even. Oh, that's going to be a lot better. <laughs> that's probably not a great idea. <laughs> Considering she's purple. Um, so give her to Oops. Oops, yeah. But she's still near Sia. Oh, well. Well, she's going to be near Sia. Sia's going to corrupt her. Um, <clears throat> anyway. So if you want to take part in the Pen Hook and Needles Toy Along, be sure to add the tag Toy Along 2012 to your project. And we look forward to seeing you. Yeah, come to see our group in Ravelry. Yeah, we like we like having um, new members and old members and everybody. Yes, it's Ravelry.com. Please join if you haven't. Um, I'm actually not sure how you bring your friends. Yes, bring your friends to the group and to Ravelry. Yes, and if you look at Pen Hook and Needles, you'll find us. Um, we are the only Pen Hook and Needles. I made sure of that. <laughs> That is something when I sat, when I assassinated other pen hook needles, which I did. She took care of it. It was managed. It was managed. <laughs> Sorry, that was a different reference, story reference. Um, no writing this week. Um, I got very little writing done. I did a lot of thinking about writing, but it's been really strange in terms of. I'm sorry, I'm a little tangled here. Um, it's been a little strange in terms of hours in the day and getting things done and having people home who aren't normally home. So it's, you know, I, I don't understand why my husband wants to spend time with me. I mean, <laughs> go figure. So, you know, it's when my husband's home, I like to spend time with him and that kind of eats into my writing time. I can crochet and knit, but I can't really write. So um, I did do some, very little, nothing on the synopsis, a lot of thinking about it, which is a good thing. Uh, but that's about it for the writing. Um, you know, I've got stash enhancements. I didn't have any. I did. I walked <coughs> down with my husband on one of our walks. Down at the bottom of the hill, we have a second-hand flea markety kind of little store that's open like, I don't know, three or four days a week. Kind of hit and miss sometimes when I can get to it. But we walk down. And I always go straight to this little corner because every once in a while, in the shop, because every once in a while they have yarn. They had yarn. A lot of yarn. I bought five skeins of this. 
Um, it's a very pale green. It's a very kind of pale, like Ty said, green. It's very fuzzy. It almost reminds me of Angora. It's called Fluffy Yarn, and it's imported by Unger, and it's made in France. I got five skeins. It looks like it's between maybe a fingering, fingering and a... Hold on, ladies. No, I was thinking of fingering and a sport. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it's a DK weight. Um, it's got... It's machine washable, and it's... Um, hold on. It's machine washable, and it's 156... 156 yeah. yards. So I got five of these, a dollar each skein, and it's and it's just. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like the fuzz, but I thought it would make a really nice stuffed animal, with the softness. It's really squishy. Yeah, it's only just a, acrylic. I only, yeah, it's acrylic. Like only a dollar a skein. I was so excited about it. They also had some linen, and some cotton. The cotton. I'm sorry, Nicole. I don't like orange, <laughs> so I didn't pick up the cotton. And co Nicole thought I was saying I don't like cotton. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, uh, the linen I wanted to try, and they had a whole bunch of linen, but I, it didn't have anywhere the yardage, and there was like maybe 20 skeins of it, and two or three of them were stained, so I didn't know how much I could get out of each skein, with, and then with some of them being um, stained and with no real label that I recognized, I just decided to pass on that, so I just cleaned them out of this yarn, um, the whole five skeins. I have almost um what almost 600 yards i guess no 150 times six would be 900 yards something like that of this yarn so I, it should give me a nice project whatever it is i decide to make out of it i'm really happy with it i was excited i showed time to look what i got when i went for, for a walk she didn't think of me i did but there was nothing else for you I, it's okay i wouldn't like that color anyway yeah. well the other one was more of a dark kind of um maybe a mint kind of teal kind of I don't know it was it was kind of like a lot a darker of this and then they had like a pink something or other that I didn't like at all I, I don't like pink <laughs> sorry everybody who likes pink I just I, it's okay but not for me so this is what I picked up for my stash enhances I got a couple of free patterns off of Ravelry while I was looking for something that would work with a yarn I was thinking about buying uh, to benefit um, the uh, people who who weathered Hurricane Sandy, um, a couple of the people in Etsy are doing uh, percentages of their sales toward uh, the, p the relief effort for the people in the Northeast who are having difficult with, difficulty with Sandy. And so I have one of the yarns in my basket, but I comboed the lady and asked her, you know, you said that you're going to be updating your site pretty soon, so I hope you do it soon so I can see if there's a colorway I prefer a little more. And I was looking for a pattern that would go with her yardage. So, uh, but that's basically my session enhancement. Um, you know, artwork, I've been kind of lazy about it. I've been very single-minded on my fiber arts. Um, so that leads me on to uh, welcomes to the new members. Kind of happened this time. Yeah, well, I went, after the last podcast, I was, went crazy inviting people. So that helps. Although a couple of people came on their own. Mm -hmm. um, the first one that came was... Uh, Tardis Traveler 42, and that's uh, Katie from Katie Three Jones. Stitches. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, Katie Joe's her name on Plurk. Um, but it's Katie from um, Three Stitches. She's the one who's um, in. Uh, she's she's in Buffalo, I think. Yeah, somewhere in New York. Yeah. Um, so welcome, Katie. Uh, you're watching your podcast. Um. Then also is next with Ka Shirley, who's Carolyn, and she's in the podcast uh, Girlfriend's Knitting. Um, her dad's going through a rough time right now, so if you could keep uh, Carolyn and her family in your prayers, it'd be great. Um, also, uh, Knitting Doink, who is Lindsay, <laughs> also from Three Stitches, uh, she joined us. Um, and I can't remember where she's going to school. I don't know if she's in Massachusetts. No. I can't remember. She's no. a junior, though. Yeah. Um, I forget where she is. Did she make it to Rebel on it? Uh, to, um, to, uh, no. Her, I think she wanted Katie, to. But Katie did. Katie yeah. did, and uh, the mom did. Yeah, Michelle did. Um, then another person who joined was Janty the Dragon. Um, 
who's Emily, and uh, met Emily for the first time over at um, Kosh Shirley's uh, group, um, the uh, Girlfriends Meeting podcast group. So she joined us. Um, so welcome aboard, Emily. <clears throat> then uh, the third part, the third person in Three Stitches um, joined us. That's Knit a Little, and that's uh, Michelle. Michelle. <coughs> I have so much fun watching her. <laughs> She's so funny. Hi, Michelle. Yes, well, we're glad to have um, all of you, but we're not done yet. <laughs> I was about to say we're, we're glad to have all of you and then say goodbye, but uh, we have two more. Uh, genetics, who is Chris, and she's the mom part of the uh, uh, podcast uh, Nerd Girl Knits. Hmm. Um, they're both really science-y, um, and it's another mom-daughter team. I have to take a look at that. Excuse me. Um, and then finally, uh, last but not least, is... Uh, Zeta Luz, excuse me, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Zeta? Yeah, Zeta Luz, mm -hmm. and her name is Zeta, Z-A-I-D. Z That's uh, pretty. I almost said Z-A-I-D. Uh, I'm tired. That's uh, a pretty name. It is a very pretty name. And we're happy to have all of you. Thank welcome. You. Yes, welcome, and thank you for joining us. We might come in under an hour. So, apparently cutting all the stitches out does work. Um... Thank you very much for watching us. Do you have anything? Please? No, not offhand. I, I apologize if I do owe somebody thanks, but I can't think of it right now. So thank you to whoever it is. I forgot. Um, and <clears throat> thank you for joining us here um, at Pen Hook and Needles. And um, we hope that you have a great Thanksgiving and um, happy New Year crochet. Yes. God bless. Bye-bye. Wow.